from the art and villa mine, Messina, South Africa, a floater quartz family. We're going to start on this side. Now look at the crystallization here. Actually quite abstract. From a, a Lemurian writings point of view, hell of a lot happening here. Inclusions, lovely inclusions, as is quite typical to the quartzes from the Messina mines. Typical inclusions would be a grey to an almost pinkish red, which would be caused by hematite. And then we'd have green little bladed crystals going into with red terminations, which would be the piemontite, and then of course the epidote as well. Let's have a look here. So we're going through the form at this stage. So here you just look for reflections. And then let's have a closer look into the for color. Of course, when I talk of color, we're looking for an, a turquoise color. Uh, not to be mistaken for the, the grey of the hematite, which would be the elusive agarite, which we all seek, and uh, a papagoite, I doubt it, it's usually quite an intense blue, very similar in appearance to the chatukite included quartzes, which we found in the Kaoka felt and to some extent in the, um, in the uh, mines of the Congo, especially Tantara. Little bit of cloudiness, lots happening in these. These are, with good lighting, are see-through. So, hell of a, uh, uh, there's a hell of an intensity of, of uh, slight, slight colors and little cloudinesses and little bits of red and little bits of green. Quite lovely. All the way from South Africa, Art and Villa Mine, Messina, um, in the Limpopo province of South Africa.